I'm going to do one run through. This is NVIDIA and this is Returnal. And as I said before in other videos, I like this benchmark because it literally tests all the bits. Again, 1440p, uh, 1440p, DLSS, no ray tracing. Um, what else was there? No ray tracing. And it, yeah, it's a quality, so 67% scaling of the image. There you go, you can see up there, as you see. So what's that doing? I mean, you don't really see this until the end. And then I have, I've only done these runs once. So you'll see the NVIDIA run, and then, like I should have explained earlier, then you'll see the AMD result in the well as well. But yeah, these are one of those ones. These are all running in Proton GE as the compatibility layer. It's just easier. They just worked. Um, I did this one through a wobbly and tried to download Proton 8. So I just flipped it to GE and everything worked okay. But here we go. So you can see it says material and VFX reflections, and it's you can actually see what it's actually you know, projectiles and beams. I don't know if that's a benchmark. You know, the particles, more like particles, that's not. That. Beam effects, VRAM, RAM usage, small game, six gig, six gig of VRAM. It's probably well written. So some of these huge monstrous games you see. So let's see what the final score is. It should finish shortly. It's ticking around 70. You can see underneath, sorry, overlay. The overlays over the overlay. Performance, enemy projectiles. That's a that's a benchmark apparently. Here we go, and then this good bat thing applies down. So here it comes. Boom. And what's the scores on the door? 76 frames per second on NVIDIA. Um that's not bad. There's a bit of a spike there in that frame graph, isn't there? 76. What does the AMD give us on Intel? What are you gonna do? AMD, come on. There we are. 70, so slightly slower. Frame graph doesn't have that massive spike in it. So yeah, so very, very similar. I mean, this has just got FSR, same, always like the equivalent settings. 